I think the most important thing is to bear in mind um, what an important issue it is um, to get to grips with, to work out strategies to reduce food waste, uh, because regardless of where you are in the world, you're part of the same sort of global food chain um, in that anything you decide to do around food has got um, quite significant and severe environmental implications. So it's a, an article of global citizenship to try and get to grips with um, food waste locally, whether it's Southeast Asia, Western Europe, or you know, somewhere in the Southern Hemisphere. So it's equally important to see it in that kind of light. Um, but it is a subject of immense practicalities because there's no point in realising the global significance unless you're actually prepared to think of ways of tackling it locally. And um, that involves such a mix of different things. But the important thing is not to be daunted by how complicated food is and our relationship with food as societies and cultures. Um, it is really worth um, getting on with thinking of ways in practical terms to help people to use more of the food that they buy and consume, to use it more effectively, to throw less of it away. And although you might think that in simple economic terms, if you save this much of a plateful, it's not going to have implications wider. Um, it's the long-term incremental change about using resources more efficiently that is the real prize in all of this. Um, so Southeast Asia, food security, food waste, these are two sides of the same coin. Um, and it's important to bear in mind that the issues are complicated, but well worth getting to grips with. Well, governments can't act alone. Um, governments, though, need to facilitate activity on food waste and get all the parties together and to identify champions who are going to take the issues forward. Um, and that often involves different departments of government agreeing on who should take the lead, how activity is going to be coordinated. That's very important too. So it is important that governments see their place in all of this, but they're not going to be able to bring about change unless they bring everyone else with them, industry, the food supply chain, the manufacturers, the retailers, the public, um, all these interests need to be brought to the table in order to bring about a change of attitude. Well, bottom-up strategies mean one thing, and that is people taking responsibility and acting on the problem. Um, that's a large element. Um, I would say, though, in trying to bring that about, to, you have to get people to see the problems uh, for themselves. That's a very important thing. And to feel that they're empowered enough to take action and that action actually counts in reducing food waste. So it's an important element, um, but it needs to be seen um, as part of a mix of things that are happening at different levels in a a kind of concerted effort to, to bring about change. Um, and I think it's also very important um, that it's presented as a series of practical things that people can do and less a kind of moralizing, you know, isn't it awful? There are people starving in the world, yet we're wasting food. Um, I think for people to see the issue for themselves, it's usually more effective within the framework of um, domestic finances, how much does it cost a household um, to waste all of this food, um, that's a good way of framing it. Um, so yep, at that grassroots level, um, that's the kind of thing that needs to happen to, to bring about change. Mm -hmm.